Ravi. Uh, no. Oh, the ads are done. All right. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I should stream or something. We could just do this all day. We can just look at the rainbows, yeah. I love that I can just sit there. Yeah, the globby one is cute. I like that I can just sit here and mash a button on my stream deck and have them come up. I like the flower too. <clears throat> okay. Um, here. Okay. All right. Hi. Oh, Globy, not Globby, for fuck's sake. 10 out of 10 on reading comprehension. Hi. This for you. Ah. Uh, okay, let's see if it'll let me join the server. Yeah, you can have another one. Yeah. But don't don't tell anyone I gave you two sparkly hearts. Huh? Egg. It's doing the thing. Oh man, the water is really good today. Ugh. Literally don't know why it does that. Maybe I just need to restart it. <sighs> it's so I it's so hard doing that. Because, you know, you've got to, like, listen to the music. I always feel like you've got to listen to it for a good while to see if it, like, you know, matches the vibe. And then you're just sitting there listening to random bits of music. And sometimes they're really good. And sometimes they're not. Ugh. Honestly, that's one of the reasons that I use... Um like epidemic and stuff yeah which is even more work i've been kind of tempted um though to be honest to get every now and then on humble you get like dj um type packs where they have a bunch of like royalty free uh samples 
and it's tempting just to grab one of those and just make like a couple of like using just the ones a couple of like simple loops like without a whole lot of thought into you know composition or anything just like i don't know pick a key and a, a couple of layers and just do that There we go. I mean, that's the same, like, I get the same, I don't know if it's the same, actually, <laughs> um, with, with, like, clothing and stuff. Like, there was a sweater I bought when we were in St. Augustine, like, this cute caddy, and it was $5, and I was like, I don't know if I should get it or not. I mean, I could just make it. And Flint's like, you couldn't buy the yarn for that for five dollars and it'll take you forever <laughs> and i was like yeah that's a good point <laughs> sometimes it's our just yeah okay oh fucking anvil Oh, I forgot how frustrated I was with this. I got so close to this being finished. And it like reset progress and. I don't, I don't understand what happened. Yeah, this was like the end of stream last night. I was tired. I, this headache that I've got now was developing. And I started working on this anvil and I was like, okay, this isn't so bad. It's like, I, I wasn't sensible about how I started it. Um. So the issues were of my own making, but it was like, uh, uh. Um, I got part way through and then it just like reset and I was like, what, what? And this is like super tedious, but it's something that you don't like, you know, once you've done it once, you don't have to do it again. And it's kind of a fun puzzle to do as well. So it's not like terrible. It just requires a bit of braining. And I said last night, I was like, I swear to God, if someone tries to tell me how to do this differently, I'm going to say not nice words. And then a new person in chat's like, so I shouldn't offer a suggestion. I'm like, yeah. Definitely not. I just. I wasn't sensible with what I did. Yeah, don't, it's, that steering wheel is hot. It is covered in like, prickly cactus spines and acid, and it will hurt a lot. Like, boy, will it hurt. But it's like, I, I do appreciate you asking, but yeah. I'm sorry, I literally just said, please don't. Yeah, I have a bit of a headache today, which is convenient. Basically, I'm trying to like 
fill in the green grid. Um, so if it's got a, a purple border on the block, it's where it's not supposed to be. And green, the green grid is where it is supposed to be. And ordinarily, well, I mean, you've had stuff to do. Oh, really? Oh, hey, Shay, welcome back. It's always nice when you see a new person come back. Um, I'd like to hear about it, Ravi, if, if you'd like to tell me. But also, I understand, like, if it's, like, irksome and you don't want to talk about it, it's totally fine. Okay. Glad you think so. We are definitely having a chill day today. For some reason, my smithing progress on this reset last night. Yeah. I got like most of it done and then it like reverses a bunch. Wait for June, yeah. And they keep pushing it back. So dumb. The, yeah, the smithing mechanic is very interesting. It's like it. I mean, the thing is, the game is doing okay, right? Like, why? Oh no, that's that's always heartbreaking when that happens. Because you know, you, I know that you spend a lot of time, you know, building a new world. When you spend a lot of time building a community and sharing these experiences, and then yeah. Well, I'm sorry. That's that's no fun. I I enjoyed it when it launched. Um, but I don't know. It it didn't it didn't land for me. And that's that's a me thing. That's not a problem for the game. I Hex Day is one that I'm actually quite interested in. Um, honestly, Flint and I only just heard about it the other day, and we were both like, oh, okay. <laughs> um... Yeah. Where have we been? I I don't know. Oh, 
Oh no, that's okay. I mean, you can't read my mind, but don't think. God, I hope not. Honestly, yeah. I think this last few months he's just been um the pacing of game releases has just been so much. It's honestly I've I've just got to the point where I'm closing off. Yeah, I I see it. Told you you don't want to do that. This is this is how it reset last time. It's it's weird in the air. It like it smells weird. It smells kind of like a combination of like I don't know. A little bit like cat wee. A little bit of sawdust, a little bit like that weird rose hand lotion that grannies wear. Uh, there's probably a lot of candy wrappers just laying around. I like. I want to go in there. Hi, Luna. Um. But yeah, I, I the the cadence of game releases at the moment has just been so overwhelming this year. I think one of the reasons that I've just been like playing Vintage Story so much is that it's like a known entity at this point, you know. Why are you doing that? It's just been so tiring. Luna, I'm enjoying your blog posts, by the way. Oh. Yeah. God damn it. Okay, well, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Name is Burke, and I would have had it now, but uh, my hammer reset, so. Oh, I already have it in here. All right, so I want 180. No. Hmm. Hundred and sixty. So twenty nine and three.
Um, but yeah, I think X Day is probably one of those games that I'm. I joined the creator program, or I applied for the creator program. I'm hoping that I'll get a, a streamer here. Um, but I did see something that made me a little bit like uncomfortable, even though they were transparent about it with Pax Day, is that your founder's pack if you buy a Founders Pack for Early Access, that's what it's for. It's not going to give you access to the game after a full release, I think. Hi, Ali. Hello. Or something like that. And I was like, hmm? I don't know about that. Fuck, now I've got no fuel. Yeah, yeah. And and now the word access doesn't mean anything to any of us. <laughs> uh Pax Day. Oh. That would work. Yeah, well, I did say they did say like they are making it clear like what the expectations were for it, which you know I appreciate it. I said I applied for the the content creator thing, but um. Repurchasing the game, oh. Yeah. Final, final business model and pricing are not defined yet, but our overall approach is similar to classic MMO subscription models. After early access, Pax Day will require a one-off initial purchase, which will give access to the game and one or more plots that land. This will be followed by a recurring fee. The Founders Pack you pick now doesn't commit you to anything past Early Access. That's the bit where I was just like, what do you mean doesn't commit you to anything past Early Access? By purchasing a Founders Pack now, you get unlimited access to the game, along with a specified amount of plots for the entire duration of Early Access, until at least June 2025. Where does it say that? So this is a problem. If we're both, we're finding different information. Yeah, because it on the early access page, it specifically says you get access to the game until at least June twenty twenty five. So, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> I, I applied for a key, um, and so did Flint. I mean, it seems pretty good, clear English to me. It's just that it's contradictory. Okay, apparently I need to go get some coal. Oh, yeah, no, I, I get it. But I th it sounds the the things that I was interested in for it was that 
it's not like the sort of game where you can, everyone can just sort of find their niche and do what they enjoy and perhaps benefit from doing what they enjoy. Oh, no, that makes sense. They, Ali, they need to hire you to make their website make sense. Well, that is true. A lot of people need to hire Ali. But yeah, no, that, that makes total sense what you just said. Hello, cow. Uh, but yeah, and they also make it sound like any sort of PvP is is isolated the way that it is a new world, so you're not like. to it yeah i mean me too the the likely honestly the likelihood of a game holding me the heck Dance Delirey, one drifter 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 dance Delirey, one heck Delirey, one heck Delirey, one heck Delirey, one heck Delirey, one dink donkey 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 Delirey, one heck. Hi, Toast. <laughs> well, that was a fucking entry, wasn't it? <laughs> one heck. I'll take a uh, welcome to the channel for one heck. Um, Toast, <laughs> Toast has arrived in, in case you'd fallen asleep. Uh, Toast has, has arrived. Toast, thank you for supporting me for a month. Oh, sorry, a year? It doesn't feel like it's been a year, but it kind of does, but it doesn't, but it kind of does. But thank you, especially because you're supporting me on on Fourth Wall as well. Thank you. Um, don't forget to let me know what color you would like for your scarf chunk. Or your sport your sporkly scarf chunk if you would like to make a, a color choice there i keep thinking maybe i ought to turn off the uh text to speech but honestly that just makes me laugh every time so it entertains me the delirey one dink donkey always makes me laugh Dark blue. Good choice, because the sparkle shows nicely on the dark blue. Um, but yeah, the, I think I'm this. I'm the same way, Ravi. Like the the chances of a game holding my attention for longer than a few months at a time is pretty rare like this is a rare game for me that i've been playing pretty consistently for i don't know when i started um so yeah the chances are by the time it came out to um full release i'd be over it anyway so when did we this was August last year, is when Toast got this for me. Jesus Christ, it's been almost a year that I've been hooked on this. Look what you've done, Toast. You've turned me into a full-time vintage story streamer. 
I didn't realize it had been so long. I think... So, the things that intrigued me about PAX Day were that it kind of encourages, looks like it encourages cooperation, but not in a, a ram it down your throat way. And it's designed so people can kind of do what they want. So if you just want to gather, you can. Um, but I was really intrigued. I read a write-up, I can't remember what side I was on, but I read a write-up about building and how if you build with people, is like cooperative um these cooperative builds uh increase like the size available to a cooperative builds increased with more people involved so that you can uh, so it sounds like you can actually build like a village yeah oh that reminds me my game passes up next month but i, I don't think yeah so, I, and that really intrigues me. I've, I'm still writing my, my free three months that I had. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. I said, I'm, I don't know when they're announcing the round of, um, when they issue creative keys, but I'm I am very interested. Chances are they're gonna drop it like when Project Zomboy doesn't update or something. Because that's just how these things go. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. So you kind of, yeah, yeah, that could be a thing. I was kind of hoping it was going to be like Guild Wars 2 where you just or even like New World I guess where you just like buy the game and then have access to it but I also understand the need for a subscription model like it, it makes sense so I get so stressed out with games with subscriptions like I feel like I have to play them and it turns into an obligation. Hey. That's a good question. I think that the my concern with it is if it's going to be <clears throat> open world like who did it arcage um so arcage had a thing where they had fixed housing areas with a, a, a finite number of plots in them, kind of like Final Fantasy as well. And so you had to try and like race to get the, get the good spots. And it's such a ick. Yeah, well, that makes total sense. Um, 
Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, like I, I had this, you know, like creating that sort of sense of, of urgency is a sales, you know, a, 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 a valid sales technique, I guess. Doesn't Baltimore Online have like a really interesting housing system? I think it was Ultimore Online that had it where you could like build like anywhere. I feel like we've talked about it before. Maybe was it with you, Ali? I feel like it might have been. Um, I I actually really liked how New World did the housing. It was still going. That's amazing. Um, where you had the the sort of the residential areas, but anyone could get within them. I like that. Because not everyone has the the time. To, to spend, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I really like that. And I also thought it was kind of neat the way that you could see people like running by as well like it wasn't completely isolated you all did the housing right except for the leaderboard thing yeah But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely it's definitely one that I'm interested in having a look at. So I don't know, maybe Yeah, it's it very much relies on on the expectation that you have the time and the money to maintain. But yeah, subscriptions just make me feel stressed and like I, I have to play a game. And as soon as something turns into an obligation, I turn into a petulant child. And Black Desert was another one, I think. No, Black Desert Online had instant housing, instance housing, actually. And it was really pretty. So that was a lot like New World. But yeah, our cage was open and Lynn got really fucking good at sniping. Um housing plots and people would accuse me of using bots but he'd literally sit there because it like the the moment uh, a housing license expired it would just be open to like the first person who clicked it so there were so many bots yeah and I said inflate would just sit there like zzz, like I clicking the mouse button so fucking fast and then he'd get like DMs from people accusing him or shouts of people accusing him from using a bot. 
And he was literally just like mashing his mouse button. It was fucking insane. And I, I kind of, I worry about getting into a situation where, it, oh God, where it's a replication of that experience. Because it was so stressful. There was a lot of RMT in that game too, specifically for housing. Game, please let me out. He, he is. Like, we ended up with, like, fancy freaking... We had estates by the time he was done. We had, like, a bunch of, like, smaller plots put together. And, like, the two of us had this, like, massive area right next to each other. And... It was amazing. Like, he worked hard for that. I think that'll do. <sighs> Bitcraft I'm interested in too. I guess it like I'm I'm really intrigued by some elements of <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He really takes good care of me. He makes sure I get like really good place for my pixel home. Always makes sure I have the best place to build my pixel farm. Oh my god, this game is so pretty. Like what the fuck? Seriously. Instead of bringing home the bacon, he brings home the pixels. <sighs> Chicken. Was it leaves? <clears throat> Man, my throat is so dry and sore. After chatting with Drake today, I don't, I think part of my problem when I'm streaming, when I start coughing, is I'm not warming my voice up. I've not really thought about it before as a thing. But I, I'm pretty sure it's a thing. Here. <laughs> Thank you, Luna. Oh, dear. Ooh, Astro Care. Is it almost time? 11 minutes. <laughs> we have. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It, it does something. It's from the primitive survival mod. I think it's used for like summoning some spoopy, scary thing. But not, not entirely sure. In all honesty, I'm probably just going to throw it in a hole and forget about it. And, uh, let it despawn. Um, they look neat. There's like ghost ones as well, but the only ones I really care about the team is.
All right, now I have plenty of fuel. It doesn't burn as hot as charcoal, but it should still do the trick. I need to get a lightning rod too. Awfully pretty. I, this tree still needs to grow. Um, but yeah, I think, well... <sighs> Thank you. I'm not prepared to buy a founder's pack. Like, that's just not feasible financially. Um, but if I, I get into the creator side of it, I will definitely be giving it a good go. I pretty much decided I'm not spending money on games. Like, in the last year. Me too. I think I would have a lot of fun building in it. I said I don't I don't know when they if they do like rollouts of application or the the application form was like very succinct too there wasn't like tell us why you think we should let you into the program blah 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 blah. it was literally just like please give us your information hey thanks bye that was it okay thank you for not asking me to write a story because i absolutely hate having to write a biography for these things Got sick part way through. Well, that's rubbish. I don't know if I'm going to need. I genuinely can't tell. All right, there we go. We got ads popping at in thirty seconds or so. Um, maybe? Possibly? Uh, so a good time to, uh, take a break? And finish sentences. Oh, shit. Oh.
I think I'm gonna have to add another. <laughs> hey, how your your photos from Ireland? I hope you had a lovely time. It looked amazing. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. I yeah. It's so green, right? I've heard just wonderful things about it. Saw so your your awkward picture of kissing the bloody stone as well. I was very impressed. I take you back home now. Unwinding. Only. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, okay. Honestly, that's not a bad thing to do, because then you can, like, go back through your pictures and just, like, uh, you know, relive those moments. It seems like something that they just like wouldn't let happen in the states because of like lawsuits. And Ireland's just like fuck it. I love it. All right. So now we heat up there. Yeah, I mean, you get that everywhere. I'm sure you know that. I mean, you've you've been places, you've seen the world. I don't think there's anywhere I've been where there hasn't been. A few fuckers like that. I recommend it. I think you'd have a blast if you liked Ireland. New Zealand's supposed to be a lot like it in terms of just greenness and, you know, everyone just drinking. Yeah, I kind of miss that. We don't don't have that same. I don't know the color palette back home is is definitely different than what you get here, for sure. That's it, right? Alrighty. Um, oh, 
it shouldn't be too bad i feel like last time i messed around with windows install it was a lot easier than it used to be We're just going to uh, donate this to uh, the lake gods, goddesses. Um, I'm pretty sure you can just do it directly from uh, the, they have a, a website that you can just click on and say that you want to make a portable installation. Thank. these ones I can't remember what I picked for this playlist, but it, it's it's a trope. We're all over the place. I've got the, the iron ingots, I might as well use them. But yeah, I mean, like looking at games that are due to come out, and like I don't know I don't know if it's just me but I'm just really struggling to to find interest in new titles hi alpha hello <clears throat> all right what else do I want It's 
sunny size. I think I've heard about that one. Maybe. Was that the one where you're in, is it the one that's set in like a Japanese town? Yeah, 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 I was, I was emailed about that one. Fucking, the emails. <laughs> With this next face, the, the demo things, like so many emails of devs being like, hey, can you play our demo? Some of them have looked really cute. Okay, that's, that's it, right? I okay we can make more iron bloom oh thank goodness I think I'm gonna need I literally didn't have any alert pop off. What am I missing here? I heard a boing. I'm pretty sure that's my follow alert. Isn't it? My activity feed is like... Oh, you followed! But that was from yesterday, wasn't it, Alshay? Didn't you do that yesterday? Well, thank you! Dave, <laughs> thank you for the biddies. Oh, oh, how curious. I wonder if that's why it's not showing. How bizarre. Well, thank you for following. I I deliberately have follows kind of uh, said to be anonymous. Um, because I know sometimes you just would, like want to watch a stream and you don't want to talk to everyone all the time. Just talking to people is just like, oh, it's work. Okay, I'm hungry. I get it. So, I have a hell. I've already made a hell hammer head. Um, Okay. 
All right, put you back up there. I should have made an iron hammer, huh? Well, I have plenty of of iron. I can make more bloom easily enough. Honestly, I was putting off the whole iron thing because <sighs> making the iron anvil is the most painful. Ugh. But it's done now. Okay. Um. Oh, I should go put my. I put my rot away. You think I would know the, the own my sound effects that I have for the uh, my channel? Okay, so I have <sighs> I have peanuts, I have sunflower seeds, I have oil. Only thing I don't have is salt. I don't think I've seen any salt. Oh yeah, I made a bunch of food yesterday too. It's all a bit spoiled. Salt? Yeah, it is. I don't... Oh shit, yeah I can. So I need a salt water sauce block. I knew that. I totally knew that. I guess I'm off to the seaside. Seaside. flip-flops what time is it Four, oh okay that was like daylight zone i am going to where am i if i just go straight west it's gonna be seawater surely all right <laughs> i'll have to get a bucket of salty water Thank you, Toast. So what we want to do... Axles. Okay. We have oil. 
I think we're at a point where we can do this now. So today, windmill. Really? That's fresh? Oh, you can see it says when I pick it up still. Yeah, because last time I had a bunch of barrels and salt water and I was just like uh, decanting it or distilling it in from evaporation. I totally knew that. Oh look, there's lilies there. That's how I know it's not the right water. Lily pads. I think that was salt. Yeah. Yeah, the um the the primitive survival the combination of primitive survival and expanded food slash culinary artillery changed the game. Um to a point where you won't you won't want to play without those mods. Uh that's 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 the problem. Um, but the way that they add things is, you know, it is really well done. So, like Toast said, you can either boil seawater in the, in the cauldron, uh, which I completely forgot about, or you can basically get make, put seawater in a barrel and seal it, and then it'll, after whatever period of time, it'll come out as, like, damp salt. And it'll dry. And I just completely forgot about it. It's, it is, I know I said it yesterday, but it is like really easy to, um, to add mods and I'd be, be glad to show you how to do it if you decide that you're interested and would like help. Thank you. It, uh, yeah, that's, that's me. I just want everyone to enjoy the game as much as I've enjoyed it. Okay. Right. 
Every time I pass that like scrap metal that I just throw on the ground. Look how fucking bright it is in here in the mornings now. These these light wells. It's fucking ridiculous. So bright. Yeah. I put light above uh, I put put some in above the uh the berry bushes last night. And now these are growing too. So And we got blueberry bushes planted. Not expect those to grow. But I, I planted a very minimal garden, so we've got like flax for windmills, peanuts and sunflowers for candy, and cabbage because it's pretty. Basically. Yeah, food is sorted. I just have to get off my button and like... Alright, so we have salt water. I'm gonna make cheese. I kind of do too. I have like you can you can do that with the cows. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I've ever found halite in the wild. Like I've seen mentions of it being like like under the surface of the ocean like you can mine down and like prospect for it or you can like look for like salt mounds or something but i've never found it just in the wild okay so my original plan was To send my original plan was to go up there and then build a windmill up there but now that I've got these light wells I'm almost wondering because it wasn't that far to dig out if I could just make a room back here somewhere and just bring the windmill straight down from the top of the mountain like straight down into the air And then I can just send off. Like I can split it here between the inside and the outer. Um. Rings. In fact, I could probably do it from inside the house. Oh no, look. So now I'm at this point where I get every time where I'm like, I don't want to build a windmill until I get everything where I want it to be so I don't have to keep remaking it. However, there's things that I want to make using the windmill power to finish making the kitchen. So I should just set up a temporary spot with a windmill. Get everything built the way I want and then come back. Isn't it adorable? That's the bricklayers mod too. That's the one that does like that and the, the cute colored crocs and uh, the floor tiles. Hey Def! Oh 
good. Good to see you. Or see you here in chat. Because I can't actually see you. Oh, not really. If you could move to the left, I could probably see you better, but... Hello, you are a visible chatter. Hello, Southband F, it's good to see you in chat again. You are not new here. You are... old here? I'm not very good at the streaming thing today. Hey, nerdy! Oh lord, everyone's coming out of the woodwork now. Established! Oh my gosh, Shay, yes. Established is much better than old. Nerdy's here too. What's going on? Is this an intervention? <laughs> you're, you're very welcome. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh my god, streamer read my chat message! Yes it is. Oh god. Um, okay. Okay. So... So... Somewhere... Listen! Ma'am. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> Look. I can't help it, okay? We were just saying, I started playing this in August last year. I don't think there's ever been a game that I've played consistently as long as it's. It is. Oh, I didn't think I was going to have enough for that. All right, well, that's a good start. Oh, awesome. Like I said, I, I don't know what I'm streaming tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to be, I don't know if we're doing trucks or not tomorrow, but if you get stuck, even if I'm not playing Vintage Story, Feel free to come and ask, if you want to. I don't want an info dump on you because that's not helpful, especially without context. Well, shucks. Death's like... Well, you don't know Dal like I do. Oh, that's debarked. Heck. Oh, that'll be fun. And chaotic. We need a bunch of planks. All right. So what do I need to do? I should write a list, right? Uh, 
Um, is there a, no my 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 list that I do when I write shopping? I mean, there might be. Wait, this is this is what my shopping li my list is. I just write shit on a sign. <laughs> <laughs> and then this I just try and look at it. AKA Saturnine 86. This is a reminder for you to drink some water, eat some food, take what? your meds, and be kind to yourself. Yes, even you. Give yourself a break. You deserve it. Thanks. Ah. Uh... No, it's too late. It's no backsies. It's it's too late. You're fucked now. Now you have to. I don't make the rules. Well, I mean, I do, but yeah, sorry, get wrecked. Um, I I wrote myself a little calendar because I couldn't remember how the seasons go. Oh, I just remembered something that I wanted to do here. Well. <sighs> Look, I... I don't know how to word, okay? <laughs> you have to take care of yourself. Because, like, I think you're cool. And you don't want to make me sad. You don't want to make me sad. You don't want to make me sad. So you have to take care of you. Or I'll stare uncomfortably into the webcam until my eyes start watering. Wait, what am I making with this? Oh, a lightning rod.
Okay, so apparently... Lightning rods work in a pyramid kind of tone. Thank you. So... If I build... Bonk. It's highly technical. I don't think I've had to worry about that, but then the last time I had chickens, my friends made the chicken coop for me. Kind of cheating. Oh yeah, me too. It's nice and bright and cheerful, which you wouldn't expect out of a cave home. Yeah. I like my rainbow bee too. It's waving a little trans pride flag as well. Yeah. You want eggs, you don't have to murder the piggies. That's not Shay, that's not where the eggs come from. The eggs don't come from piggies. Yes. It, I mean it started off as a Minecraft mod. I I it, I obviously I know where you're going with it. Um Yeah, it started off as a mod for Minecraft and then Expanded from there. Milk the chicken suit. You know how many times I've tried doing that in Stardew? It's ridiculous. And I'm disappointed every time. Every time. Are you judging me, Dad? For attempting to milk chickens? I am. Yeah. Totally. All right, I need to go chop some trees. Let's go fuck some trees up. I should take shears first. Ah, uh, there. Um, okay, so I don't I don't need all of these things. The other mod which I really like is this, it's called Eat Skills and it adds um, like an experience thing to the game with some like interesting things so like you can cook better quality food or you can cook more potions or you can move faster, um, that sort of stuff. There's a bunch of different things like you get better results from digging or mining. Um, I've been putting points into this one which basically takes the place of using a lantern yeah you get a perk for running around Nike 
Which honestly, I'm not wearing armor anyway, so I should just do it. All of this, what I'm wearing is clothing. Heavily tatted clothing. I'm a mess. Oh, I forgot I had a top hat on. Um, but again, that's one that like changes the, the feel of the game. Well, not the feel of the game, but I think it, it changes the game quite a bit. That's probably one with we're thinking about before doing. Man, I don't want to cut down the big trees, but also I want to. There's a lot of wood. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. My frame rate's gonna be mad now. Also, I think. Oh, I got two walnut seeds out of that. Fuck yeah. I, it, it's, it's not, not my cup of tea. It's too dark for me. I like using light colored woods. It's pretty, but it's not one that I pick. Oh no. What game is that, nerdy? Is it Palia still? Uh, it's random tree stamps. Guild Wars 2. That's another one I've got to go back to at some point. I honestly don't know why these are like that. I haven't played that in years. Oh, shit. Okay, wait, serious important question. Can I have a house and have a pet quaggan running around in it? Very important. Wait, what? No, shut up. Seriously? Quaggan. They're like little chibi dolphin whale things, kind of, but they are they're the kind of bipedal and sentient. Swimming, swimming, swimming all summer long. <laughs> no, 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 he no bug. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Use the flipper strong. I had a friend. Actually, there's a friend that Flint and I have known before Flint and I were Flint and I. And he does not like Quaggan at all. Can't stand them. And I had a a cosmetic that turned me into a quaggan and I would just like follow him around with it constantly because I'm a mature adult. Um he obviously he loved it. For some reason we're still friends.
Hey, they're just, they're so cute. Like the baby quaggin. Oh, I just saw a picture of one and just like died just from seeing it. Look, look at, look at this. Okay, look, and tell me that's not cute. You're not allowed to tell me if you don't think it's cute. Just, uh, very, yes, 100%. The like the the adults are cute too, but oh god, they they just they you know they're more like manatees now that I'm looking at them, like bipedal manatees. See, it's super cute. Would I, would I lie? I don't, I wouldn't lie to you. Oh, nerdy, why are you doing this to me? I played, I, I played Guild Wars 2 when it first dropped. Like on first launch. In fact, I think it's one of the few, the rare games that Flint and I actually pre-ordered. Um, and we both, we, I mean, we played it in a lot. At the time, I think I'd basically got like full zone discovery on like four characters. Um, and then they introduced like the world bosses. There was like a, a big, I can't remember what it was, like a Jakartal or something, like Aztec sort of inspired boss thing. Is that hail? Um, oh hell no. It's 27 degrees. Excuse you. As long as I don't start complaining about it hurting my head or some bullshit. Hello. Like, ugh. but yeah, we we played that a lot. Um, and I loved all of the, my characters too. And I definitely. I'm not I'm not one of those people who gets like hardcore into the lore of a game. I really don't care. I just want to smash shit. Uh Guild Wars 2. Um, you know, I just want to run around and pick things up and put them down and smash the things. Um, but there were a couple of moments in in that game where I was just like, no and crying because of a, an NPC. Or a conversation. You meet your husband on WoW? That's amazing. I met mine online as well. Um, but yeah, we played the heck out of it. But apparently, they're introducing housing now, Drax. And I was like, fuck, am I gonna have to go back to playing Guild Wars 2 after all this time? Maybe I'll have this like cool, uh, veteran badge and everyone will be like whoa you're like really old school or something I, I, I doubt it <sighs> okay didn't take yeah I've tried it a few years back I stopped playing with the heart of just with the heart of thorns I think 
so that was a while ago and then a friend was like you need to come back and play and I kind of jumped in and it just felt like I was going through the motions but I wasn't really engaged keep going back and then stopping yeah I I don't know I, I kind of liked the model of um you know you, you buy the game Oh, uh, nothing? If... I mean... It's not for me. Because of the experiences I had with it. But it's a solid game. Like, WoW is a solid game still. It's really pretty. The music design is amazing. Like... It's a good game. I'm not going to shit on someone for playing it. Not my cup of tea. Yeah, I think it, you know, a lot of a lot of games that are your your memories are, are seasoned with nostalgia. And I think that might be what Guild Wars 2 is for me. Like I'm if I download it again, I'd probably run around on my old characters. Then remember the jumping puzzles. <laughs> maybe swim around a bit and and look at all my old cosmetic stuff probably like dress up my silvari because she was really pretty and then i'd be done <laughs> hey jewel i'm good thank you um but yeah i mean if you're playing a game that makes you feel good and happy It's fine. Nothing wrong with that. At all. This feels so decadent. Like, exactly like Vintage Story. Drax, did you know I started playing Vintage Story August last year? I didn't realize it's almost been a year. Well, that, I mean, that's totally fine too, nerdy. Like, there's nothing that says you have to keep playing one game. Ah, uh, chicken butt. Ah. Time, right? Right? Like. How has this last year gone so fast? What the heck? 13 years? That's amazing. Congratulations to you and Nerdy uh, and Medic. I can brain. On sustaining a wonderful friendship over that, that time. Uh, uh, uh. I, 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 oh, we have it starting. So, oh, I'm glad I didn't turn all of those logs into plank. Okay, first things first, I need... Ah, wait. That is the appropriate reaction, Eddie. I would absolutely have done the same thing to you. Okay. So I need one of these fellas. I mean, I've streamed other games, but I th think that Vintage Story has definitely taken up the lion's share of my streaming over the last year. I think 
if I started streaming it in August, and then if you look at the games that I streamed for the entirety of last year, Vintage Story was up in the top three easily. So that means in the last few months of the year, I played it almost exclusive, exclusively. Oh no, it's, it's, uh, I don't know, it allows me just the right level of mental engagement so I can choose to like hyper focus on a specific thing like building or mining but it also allows me just to like wander around fuck around and find out and that's that's important to me Um, they're not procedural, they're created using a seed, like Minecraft. Procedurally generated is a thing. Um, so, like, I made a calendar, um, I can't remember what the seed is for this one. I made a world with the seed croissant and it was amazing. Was it just bees? Or was it my single player save? I can't remember. But yeah, you can, every, every map generation, and even just tweaking a uh, world building setting slightly would completely change it all, so. Okay, so that, and then like that, that, that. That, and that, and that. Uh, I don't have enough sticks. That's, you know what? I wish you could bookmark your progress in the crafting, little crafting window. So you don't have to like, <sighs> back, if you get something, because I will every time. And it's the saw, isn't it? Oh, for fuck's sake. So it's a good thing I made an iron saw. I finally have an iron anvil. Chonk wheel. Yeah, wait, no, come back. No, I'm not ready for ads yet. Not ready. Diggy, diggy, help. I made a chili mac. Um, apparently it's time for an ad break or some bullshit. So I will be back in a few If I don't take a break, I'm going to get in trouble. My mods are gonna tell me all. Um, so I'll be back in a few minutes. You should stand up and get a 
drink and have a wee and I'll see you soon. I stood up and did a big stretch. And... Uh... Yeah, no, that's it. But I did stand up and move. I do have a Discord community. Yes. When I can figure out where my buttons are. Here. Here. Uh, you are absolutely welcome to join us. Hi, Jay. It's full of gamers and crafters and... Everything in between. You're being cat watched. Congratulations or my commiserations. Whichever one works for that. What what's the other bit I need for this? What? No, that's oh, I gotta do that. Give a f okay. That well, congratulations. Yes. Is it Kona? Hey, it's Shale. Yes. Hey. 
thanks for joining Discord, Shay. It's not a very, very active Discord, but you know, we're, we're it, it's not the one where everyone pops in every day and says hello or good morning, uh, which is fine if you want to do that. I don't have the the uh, the uh, the bandwidth to do a, a chatty good morning to everyone. Um, but yeah, feel free to have a nosy round. Um, we do have a, a game specific channel for vintage stories, so you can post questions and screenshots and stuff there if you fancy. <sighs> That's a good question. I am like super really overheating right now. Um, how do I do this fucking windmill thing again? I can't remember the words for things. Further, here we go. Right. Oh, that there. That there. Oh no! I'm all out of oil. So lost without you. Right. I have some. Ew, gross. It's actually not super hot here. It's just that I am here messing like a motherfucker, which makes everything feel. 10 degrees hotter than normal. Um, but it's actually, yeah, the heat index is under a under 100 today, which is nice. Um, yes. Uh, oh, that sounds perfect, Shay. I'm saving the cranberry brandy. <gasps> Yes, so that's like perfect for going for a walk though. Like, you can go for a walk and not get like... Sweaty. How do I... How do I use this? With that. Oh. Uh. Oh. Okay. It's fine. I know how to play this game. So one of the interesting side effects of those holes that we dug through the mountain yesterday is it makes it's so bright in this cave during the day it it's like there's daylight inside the cave like look at that that's bonkers i mean i guess because there actually is daylight inside the cave that's why it looks like there's daylight Okay. So I was originally going to use this tree for my windmill, but instead I'm going to build back into this, this wall here, into here somewhere and do all the mechanical stuff in there. What mechanical stuff? I don't fucking know. Something with wheels. But I haven't got further than that. But as a temporary thing, I'm going to build just at the top of the... Uh, The top of the mountain. Hell, maybe I'll just leave it up there and that way I don't have to listen to the damn thing. Yeah, yeah, the complex system of levers and pulleys, gears and cogs. Alright, let's try this again. That one, that one, that one, that, that. 
So one, two, three. I'll do four. The key of imagination. You know what else works to open a key, uh, open a locked door? Fire. Or an egg, yeah. That that definitely works too. Like that. I I don't know. What is this song? I don't like it. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I'm not digging that one. All right, let's go. Let's climb up the ladder. But what if flaming it? If I put a windmill up here, it's like my mountain is a windmill. Whole mountain is my windmill. I um, I ordered myself some fresh um, in well KN95 masks for when I'm traveling next month, and I found some in like rainbow colors, and I'm pretty excited. Like, surely this is going to be tall enough for a windmill, right? Like... <laughs> but this is where I figure I'm going to come. And I'll plant my... Um... Like, obviously it is. Like, I don't need a, val a validation on that one. I'm going to plant my orchard in this valley, I think. But I need to check what the temperature is in winter. Is that a bear? This entire area up here is so fucking huge and pretty. If you are playing Winter Story normally, do not run towards the bear. Wait, where do you go? Could have spawn, I saw a bear. Oh god. They give bear hugs. Yeah, don't, don't, that's, that's a very good point. Jesus Christ, something's been going on. I, I, where did he go? Oh, hey buddy. Oh. Look at his little fuzzy butt. He's just been snacking up here. Okay. I have the game on passive, but when I saw him do a little run, I was like, uh, do I need to take off? But I'm I'm hoping this little valley will be a good place to put an orchard. Also, there's like 
There's a node up there. A cave that had a fuckload of silver and gold in it. And by a fuckload, I mean like more than two. And yeah. It's a pretty interesting little mountain. This whole area here is right the is raised is just like really neat. So I think it would be a useful place, but I said I don't I don't know how cold it gets up here in winter and I don't want to plant my trees and then have them like I they need the cold to be vernalized, but I also don't want them to like dive from the cold. So I could plant my trees now or I could just wait until like midwinter and then I can find a place that doesn't get like too cold. That's the plan. Look, see, we're up in the clouds. And it's like the full colors here, like all year round. And there's goats everywhere. We're in a cloud. So I, th I think this should be okay for a windmill. Yeah, 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 whatever. Of mushrooms. But I figure I can just do the windmill just on a, a cliff edge. And uh, then just move the power to whenever, wherever I want it. You know what I didn't do? I didn't mark where. Okay. I heard that. But yeah, if I just like shave the top of a hill up here and then just use it as my windmill. I don't have to have a massive tall structure. Just needs to be tall enough. I don't know if it would be more efficient to have one 
One midmill with three sets of sails. Or three windmills with one set of sails. I don't think there's any multiplier on the output. It's just, it is what it is. Probably no different. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, no, that's that's not what I'm I'm asking. Um, I really wish you could flip these ninety degrees. Yeah, that's I I didn't really word my question well. It's fine. It's it's more me sort of verbalizing anyway. Oh. My well, I mean they might be great, but when I'm I'm mulling over things to myself. English is pretty fucking good, Shay. That's not the right way. Oh, I need that to stick out. Give me that. Give me. Hello? Hi? Can I have it? Hello? I can't have it. James like, nah. Yeah, you can. Absolutely. Doing this the most sensible way. 20 kilonewtons. So if I do, it just adds more, right? Okay. Okay, well that answers the other question I had.
that find out? Okay. Then I need a, a who flicky and some thingamabobs. Zelig? A fun word. Is it like is this Mary right there? Okay, so I need the okay. It's not the writer I need. It's the uh ears. All right. I'll probably just keep it simple now. I'm like, I'm just gonna make this like big long row of windmills and I'm like, oh, I could just do that. Which is fine. There is just to get something to start. Get something started. Um, oh, yeah, that one. Here, here. So complicated. Uh, wait, what if I do? I'm still gonna have to turn anyway. the servers on servers but like that that stuff but I just don't I don't enjoy it
Um, and then I need two, two more of these bendy things. It, it's fine, and it's fun for a challenge. Um, but I like to be able to just like fuck around and be creative and, and not worry about things trying to throw rocks at me. And... No, there's quite a few. <laughs> you play like that? Hi, bear. Like, it's fun. But for me, it's more fun without it. Yeah, I just, I just want to build shit, you know? Good day. Here you Okay, so, um, I think, I think someone's got a beard. Maybe. I don't know what makes you think that. One of these fellas. It's almost 1 a.m. Oh, Shay. Yeah, please, please don't stay up super late. I appreciate that you're here, but I... I'd much rather you got good rest. Yeah. Yeah, go get some good sleep. You're very welcome. Thanks for joining us again. You will. Definitely. I think I'm gonna have to go looking for stick. Mission, and then we need switch. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Much, sorry, forgot about the extended workbench. Yep, I don't have enough sticks. Okay. Just putting them up here for the sake of space. Oh, actually. I can't remember how you laid that out. Rain? Rain's a comment! Fill it in my nose!
<laughs> Thanks. All right, so we, I need need to go back down and get some sticks. Wait, I don't. Yes, I do. Uh, but yeah, so I ordered some some N95 masks for when I'm traveling. Because you never know. I I trust my friends to to do the right thing, but you know when you're traveling, you just don't know. And I managed to find uh, some in like cool colors. I have to be careful because my bonus mum has COPD, so I don't want to get like, yeah, and then bring it. I don't. I don't want to come back from my trip and make her sick. Because Flint and I are pretty much homebodies, but we've always been really careful. Yeah. And I don't, I don't want to ruin it. We've not had that we know of. Doesn't necessarily mean we haven't had it, but that we're aware of. We, neither of us have had COVID because we've been so very cautious. And I'd like to keep it that way. But when you're traveling, it's hard to control the environments you're into. So some fresh. Fresh in 95s. And I'm pretty excited about them. Are you looking for sticks? dark. I think I'm going to have a sleep. And also the last thing I want on vacation is to get sick from, you know, anything really. I've enjoyed not getting sick every year. All right, let's get some sticks. Oh, my trees are really starting to floof up here. It's a technical term. I need to dig up my vaccine card too. I can't remember when I had the last booster. Double check that info just so I can get that out of the way if I need to. Hmm, stick. Oh, that's why there are a random bunch of like single height stumps all over the place. It was for me collecting sticks and not chopping the trees. Now I understand. It feels... Salmon! It's worked. <clears throat> like it's not in my cave, but there's fish here. I changed the spawn conditions for fish on the server so that they spawn in a wider temperature range. 
So like by the default, it's between like five and twenty degrees Celsius, which is you know fine. But we want. I just wanted to see fish. So I, I widened the temperature range and the light conditions required for salmon to appear. There's a, there's a mod that I found that lets you add like decorative fish to the game. But I I didn't want to just keep adding more and more mods. It already takes like over a minute to restart the server, which is so long. Oh my god. Like a whole minute. But the the decorative fish game, the decorative fish game, the decorative fish are really pretty. Yeah. I have a feeling that <laughs> uh, I've got, hey, th this, this mod's on Drax's server. Can we have this on yours? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're going to get the same in reverse. Just testing, testing mods out for each other. It's good testing, though. Especially because we're on different hosts, so... Which reminds me, I need to make some broth and test out Xandu's inventory tweaks. Uh, sorry, inventory management or whatever. Because it was updated the other day. And I have some decorative storage pot vessels. So I should be able to test if I can crash the server. So I feel like I kind of you know, let the secret out there when I, I I sent you the video of how I was doing it. It's like, no, oh, now now anyone can do it. Where's the mystery? Oh, I forgot I did this. Ah! I was hoping they would be a little bit more... Transparent.
I think they can look cute though. What if... Ick. Do you want the answer to that? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Yes, of course, Ravi. That's probably a very good idea, Nania. For unspecified reasons. Uh, I don't know. I don't have an intro video. Um, but I feel like in the interest of clarity, it might just be better to burn them in because closed captions don't always get the right thing. And then you can, you know, you can have a play and make the font look nice and But yeah, I I still haven't I was gonna use the the trailer that the, the college students made for me as as it as the as my trailer, but apparently it was too long. So Yeah. It's like five minutes long and the trailer length is like Thirty seconds limit or something. It's like, oh, okay, fine, whatever. Or oh, maybe it is. Here. I just know I didn't I it there were too many minutes in the trailer I had and I was like well fuck I guess I'll just go back to not having a channel trailer forever sixty seconds. Wow. It's near Gale and that's all I'm getting out of it. But then I've not like I've not messed with the the gear re ratios.
Engineering is my friend. So if I make another large wheel... Um, and work off that one. What am I missing? I put wait, no, I don't want to miss that. This one. Right there. There. Here. Whoops. Oh, I need to move it over one more. Boy? I do. Uh, oh. oh, oh, heck, I'm hungry and I didn't bring food up with me. <laughs> Fine. Wait, there's berries up here, right? I'm sure I saw shitloads of berries. Why eat real food when you can just have a handful of berries? Perfect. You have salt and vinegar goldfish? I'm jelly. Super jelly. Oh wait, do I want it to go...
No, I don't want to go from there. Honestly, that sounds amazing. Oh, really? Here we go. It's like instrumentally faster. That sounds amazing. I love salt and vinegar anything. Gold. Not just, not me just stopping midstream to look them up on Amazon. How big is six ounces? 180 grams, it's not real large. Six point two, six and a quarter ounces. That's like, Oh, not much. So there's actually goldfish crisps, which are the ones that Beard's talking about, but there is a, a goldfish, a salt and vinegar goldfish as well. Like, not the crisp, but like the normal cracker. My mouth is watering at the thought of like salt, just like salt and vinegar or anything, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so let's try... Someone's eating goat yet. <laughs> yeah. Not like actual goldfish.
That's better, right? I feel like that's better. Or and and this is a honeybee, but be gentle. If I fed that to the outside edge again. So instead of bringing it down into the middle, if I took it to the outside edge, that would scale it up more for speed, right? I still get the torque from the middle, but more speed from the outside, right? So that is, I mean, that speed is fine. I'm not being picky. Oh, wait. <clears throat> no, that's not going to help. Actually. It's not good. I think that is going at a reasonable speed. I think I'm just going to try and let's get these popped in place now. Why didn't they let me go? Ah! <laughs> How 
I'm ready can go, but I can't. I'm banned, apparently. Well, you see, Del, what's actually happening here is stream likes me better than you. I'm banned, yeah. Okay, so now I need to build... Bakma! <laughs> Doesn't let me do it! Bakma, you're gonna miss the leaves. Such a shame. Yes, please. Oh, you didn't land. So sad. So, so sad. It's last 24 hours. <clears throat> but yeah, it's totally a scam. I'm I'm literally just here to steal like all of your points see now anyone could have like i could just type that i mean anyone could type that i still can't i don't think it's gonna let me do it oh there we go now i can go Why did stick me over by the fuck it? Like, Jay's gonna land right in the middle. I don't have a hope in hell. <gasps> fuck ma. Jeez. Well, there you go. I decided to unban you. I've changed my mind now, though. Alright, I'm gonna go get Anvil and some iron. Fuck my wins. Yeah, he did that last night too. I mean, I don't know if that helps, but <clears throat> that was a higher score than yesterday, according to Buckma's text that he typed in, like, whatever. That is, no, that is true, a hundred percent. He, he, he basically asked for it at that point. Absolutely. Um, okay, what am I doing? I mean, I 
something like that, I guess? Congrats on your new bound. You can't get- oh no. You tried... Alcohol? Or, um... Fire? Three was like, how things don't leave Razor Jew. Mm-hmm. I hate Gurkhan leaves like a Razor Jew itself as well. The only other thing I could think of is maybe... Yeah. It's maybe trying an ice cube. I don't know if you've got any ice cubes and seeing if, like... Sometimes ice cubes can help, can help with things that are extra sticky, like um, gum and stuff. Or... Um, lubricant spray. I can't remember what it's called. C I C or whatever. Just paint over it. <laughs> They'll never know. No. That would be silly. Black hole. Alright, that's where we're going. I mean, no, you don't have to paint the whole room. Just paint over the bit that's yellow. They'll never notice. Doesn't have to be a matching color. Just say it's a feature. Oh, what? Thanks, Ruby. I mean, that was your idea. I was just repeating what you said. Oh, okay, cool. Also, I, I mean, everything's better with a bouncy sheep. Thanks, Narnia. I actually brewed, brewed twice the coffee I normally do today. Whether or not I, I get to it. Oh, look, I'm hung. What? This whole hungry thing is bollocks. I'm just gonna ignore it and maybe it'll go away. Oh, look at all these pretty flowers. I can't eat those ones. Here we go. Uh, 
Perfect. I had some leftover pizza for lunch, but I'm hungry again. Really good. It's like mushrooms and black olives on like a garlic palm sauce rather than uh, a red sauce. Really yummy. Somewhere around here. Right, right here? Right here. Right here. Oh. Here. Uh, yes. Just don't punch them in the face. Oh. Oh no, it's just gone quiet. Which it depends if you've set it to be passive or never hostile. Never hostile means that they won't, they won't even... Like, they won't care if you punch them in the face. But passive means that they'll leave you alone as long as you leave them alone. Unless... You happen to be near them when something else punches them in the face. So like, if a bear like gets hurt from, I don't know, a fall or something. It's, it's quite alarming when that does happen. But it was so kind of funny too. that on my single player game before I was just like swimming along and all of a sudden this bear just took a swing at me and died I died and I was like uh what Yeah, like it's perfectly reasonable. And the good thing is this is a limestone which I can then 
grind down to uh, lime for tanning. I think I prefer this the width that I've got for the uh, the game right now. Well, that was a strong start. But oh well, that's gonna end up. Oh no, we're gonna turn into a ricochet rabbit. Oh no. Well, this is quite a large section of black coal. You know what? Before I get really, before I get really stuck in, I should probably check to make sure this actually works for what I want. <laughs> Land not found! Land.exe has stopped working! Press here! to terminate the process. That reminds me, I've, it's been a few days since I a little while since I did a, a fourth wall post. I keep on like swim at, at run and then realize I can just like swim across with my with surf across with my little boogie board. Oh, thank gosh. Okay. All right, so we got some more iron bloom coming up. Make that up top. I was like, I have a spear forge. What am I going to do with a spear forge? Use it, apparently. There's no longer a spear. Oh. Um. Polarizer. Isn't there like caps, like in caps, something? That you... I don't think I have any solid block. Heck, stop it. Pulverizer Pounder. Need two of those. Oh, 
Can I use any plate? Keep putting things away when I'm not supposed to. It's a molly! Oh my god, it's so big! Thanks, molly! I can seize it now! Okay, I kind of love it. It's so cute! With its little blinky eyes, not nostrils. Yeah, I do love them now. I feel like it's... I don't know. I'm still not, I'm not sold on the, the emote spam ones, but I think it's a neat idea. And that was a very good one to do. And now I can hear them. Well, I can't hear them. But once, when StreamerBot does them, I think I'm going to add like an audio update. So it does like a ping or something so I can tell when it happens. It's very cute. It's very large in my OBS. Yeah, just something as a an audio cue. Yeah. But it's already an elf. <laughs> Fuck my <laughs> Now I'm like, shit. Some of my emotes, like my older emotes, aren't in a very, uh, very high quality. Man, that really pops on a dark background. Like some of them aren't going to look very good. Now I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to redo them. Thank you for a big kick in here. The, yeah, I did. The, the way in the that you posted in mod chat, and it's all like janky as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said I think some of my older remotes are gonna be like that. As well. But yeah, the, the only one I'm worried about is is the emote spam. But I was in a, a loose conversation with some other people, including some staff members, and I was like, um, we need to be able to turn it off. It's like, I like the idea of it, but we need to be able to choose to turn it on or off. Because like you said, like if you're in a a deliberately like low stimulation stream or if you're having a conversation about a sensitive subject and then someone says like oh, booty 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 you know like you can really derail things or if you're in like a, a serious moment in in a game it, you know you could very easily ruin the experience for people um there's there's only one way to find out I mean, there's more than one, but there's really only one way to find out if it'll hurt. Hey! Pink! Jay! You got it! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you! It's a giant emote train! Oh my god, I love that rabbit. Wait, isn't that a rabbit? That's pretty cute. <laughs> little, that's a little dancing bunny emote train. Thank you for triggering a hype train. I, I kind of... Where did that sound come from? Was that one that I found myself? Or is that a default sound? I can't even remember. 
I have no idea. There's a cat in my face. Thank you, Bakma. I still need to try and see if I can make my own custom um, sound for the the other cat ones. It didn't hurt. Excellent. See, now you know it's safe to taste all the mushrooms. Yeah, I need to add a custom a sound to the Maxwell Redemptions because I keep on getting copyright claims um, on YouTube when I upload my VODs. Heck! I wasn't... yeah. Yeah, even the ones that let you hear numbers exactly and taste, taste all the shapes. I, honestly, I'm pretty pleased with the Hikimo. When, when I see it, giant. Wait, was that a. No, that was a message. So I didn't see that message effect. Quasal. It doesn't work yet. Oh, well, thank you for doing it. I was like, wait. I was like, why is it tiny? It's it's pretty amazing that he was able to like update it so quickly. Um given the lack of notice. Oops, I'm not looking in mon chat. <laughs> Thanks, Buckman. <laughs> Still need to investigate how best to implement that since Twitch's implementation uses Canva. Oh, okay. Okay. Good luck. Don't fall in. Whoa, that was a big sound. Did? Yeah, take your phone for safety. Do you even know what might happen? Wait, why is that not working? Is that too soft? I don't think I'm allowed to use copper. Oh, man. Okay, I'll take that up there. Um, what have I got two of? Take. Two of those. Give. It, that'll do. There. Um. Okay. And what else do I need? So the the top I can't make it. The caps. Created by smithing. Over as a cat. Thank you for the hype train. The giant emote hype train. That was fun. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Huh. 
Um, remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Or... Start them. Just, just saying. I'm not I'm not in I'm not making the the suggestion that you set your husband on fire. I'm just saying it's a way to deal with forests that are being really loud. Like if a tree falls in the woods, can you hear it snore? Hmm. That's a good point. Uh, here. Oh, well, I, well, I always feel bad about waking up Flint when he gets snoring, but by the same token, if you're snoring really loudly, you're probably not getting very good sleep anyway. It's a tough call. It depends. I could be snoring up a storm, but I I don't like being woken up at all. I'm a I'm a real grump. Surprising literally no one. I don't like being touched when I'm asleep. I don't like noises changing. I don't like lighting. I'm. I'm like the grumpiest grump when it comes to sleep disturbance. Okay, so I still need <clears throat> a rock. Yeah, I, I'm a very, very light sleeper. Wait, is that like real granite rock or is it fake granite rock? Fake rock. I think that might be a real rock. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I had extra. Or... Alright, so I need to carve out a rock up there. Well, you are absolutely welcome to do that. Yeah. There you go. I, um... One of the benefits of getting my office here is I I got an old single bed <clears throat> that I set up in here. So if I'm struggling with sleep, whether it's um, from 
snoring from my partner or if I'm just like really uncomfy. Um, then I can just come in here and, and have a rest and that way I'm not going to disturb him and he won't disturb me ideally this this is this is what i do So yeah, he he sleeps generally pretty heavily. All right. I'll see you next time, Nadia. Have a good rest. Good job taking care of you. We will be here. Okay, so the only thing I need left is the iron plate. I'm oh, sorry, the tin bronze plate, which I'll do up here. I still don't have fish in my lake, and I'm very disappointed. Considering there's like multiple blocks in here. I deliberately altered the uh, the spawn conditions for fish <laughs> to try and get them to spawn in here. But I've seen them in more locations, but I don't I don't know what triggers the spawn. Unless maybe I need to have like remap the block or something. I don't know. Oh, well, I changed that so that they will spawn in the dark and they will spawn in a wider temperature range as well. I think there was still a little, I could probably make it a, a better lower temperature, but I don't think it would let me do that. Just a little bit of lightning up here, it's fine. I 
I did not bring a source of fire. <gasps> but, but. Fire starter. This. Email from random email address saying your government benefit was cancelled. Okay. No, oh, we're not spinning fast at all. It's very exciting stuff. I'm glad you're all here to share this experience with me. <laughs> I know, it's like... Oh my god. It's like... You know, when you find out about your car's extended warranty expiring, and I'm like, do I have a car? I don't even have a license.
It's very exciting. Hey! Oh my god, that's so cute! Molly! Thank you! Um, well, good news. Uh, my government benefits have been cancelled, but we don't know what that is exactly. And we're also watching a very slow hammer go bong. It's, it's pretty riveting in here. Oh, now the wind picks up. I see how it is. All right. So. I don't. Yeah, I'm like, uh. In, in this economy? No, no, what sort of cockamamie place they think this is? Wait, no, I need to do something with that. What was that? Oh, the toggle. Okay. And that? Here. Okay, and then how do I? Hey. What? Uh oh oh mate, is that taller? Is that what's going on there? Um... No, that's not what I wanted. Right, can I do this and then like that and then this? No! Okay, we try this again. That. No. Here. And then I need a... A thinger. Not that thinger. Oh god, it's already 8 o'clock. Um... Oh, I can put it there. Uh, 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 what do I want? The gear? Is it a gear? An angled gear. I'm gonna need two angled gears. Is 
Holy shit balls. Okay, I need to move that over one more. So... <sighs> near. Near. Okay, so I need to make another transmission, a clutch, and some angled... Jesus Christ, the speed that is going is ridiculous. Okay, um, what did I say I needed? Oh, transmission? That? That? Oh, my hammer's gonna break. No, I need angled gears first. There, there, there. That, that, and that. And I think I need three. Do need three. That goes there, that goes there. Here. Not that. This, that. That. <laughs> That's bonkers. All right, now we need a clutch. Uh, 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 there. That. 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 Hi, Sadie! Oh. There's not enough talk to make it work. This is Punky Pink Cow. Whoever you are, whatever your pronouns, you're uh, valid and loved by this community. Please I take time it. now to care for yourself by hydrating, medicating, caffeinating, urinating, or otherwise participating in some you act too. of self maintenance. Take care of Hi. yourself. Bye. Um, I, 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 I. Uh, 
I, I, I is all I've got here. That's all I can. All I have to say about the matter. I, I, I. All speed and no talk. So what if I... Borrow this... Jackie. Please don't chop off my head. Oh, apparently I'm cold up here. I guess you know, when it's six degrees and you're standing in the rain or something. Some bullshit. Okay, clearly we need... Oh, the difference is 20 degrees down here compared to like six up there. Um, need more grass. Now, I know I have some more sconces here somewhere. I do. There we go. So how do I, I'm still trying to brain how that all works. Hopper. I think I've ever used those before.
Oh, sorry, I need to eat. All right, let's eat the spoiled stew. It'll be delicious. Honestly, that's not bad at all. All right, so how do I... How do I do this? I I feel like I'm really close to figuring out the mixing with the gear ratios. I just haven't quite called there. Basically, we want to. I think what I want to do is. I know I've done that. Send it from. The inside to the outside edge. Maybe I should just go in and have a look and see what whoopsie uh, what ape is done. So I can actually understand it now. I can build it, but I want to try and figure it out myself first. Man, the temperature drops pretty fast, huh? Like for every unit you go up, the temperature is dropping by like 0. 0.3 degrees Celsius. So. I can see that what that is doing there. Though admittedly I don't have a lot of power. So what if I do the other though, coming from the center out? Uh, eat that. That one. I I think you're right. If it could stop being so cold up here, I would appreciate it. So that's centered to the outside edge. It's like super slow. That, that's like, that's not it.
Oh. I don't think that's what I wanted to do. No, that is that is not what I wanted there. Oh. <laughs> did it like like that what the heck look I'm gonna I'm sorry I'm gonna have to ban you All right, we're going to Ape's house to Ape and Toast place to see how He's done the gearing. I could look for a guide online, but why would I do that? So... We are going... This way. Oh, learn what this... this witchcraft is. If I can... Make my own witchcraft. Ooh, berries. Game, please, it's 25 degrees Celsius. I'm not cold, I promise. Oh, I think I've... Oh, yeah, I've been down there. Okay, my body temperature's kind of low, but that's fine. Oh, carrots. That's a, a little, oh god, a little bit of a run to the translocator. But it beats the heck out of running the whole way. Oh, I'm taking damage from the cold. Is that what's going on here? Do I need to set a forest fire? I am taking damage from the cold. Oh, that's so dumb. I literally have everything on me 
It does look like it's bouncing. I think it's just heavy rain. I think like the hail is... Well, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm taking damage from being cold though. I guess I should find shelter or something. Yeah. Oh, fine. What just I set myself on fire? Ah. Oh yeah, there we go. Temperature's going up already. And I didn't set myself on fire. I'm getting pretty good at this game. Just quietly. I was like, how am I going to make a fire? Oh, I literally have everything I need right here. Yeah, just new player things. It's not like I started playing in like August last year. Whatever. I should build a chocolate factory. Build a person a fire, keep them warm for a night. Set a person on fire, keep Exactly, Beard. Exactly. Hey, Pike. Hello. I like chocolate. My outfit is is quite wonka. I think I should have that as a biographical quote. Like on my media kit and, you know, like on my channel and stuff. Alright. Better? 37.8 degrees. Alright, we're good. We, we're we on a mission. We're going to the, the toasty ape abode to examine the windmill so I can understand how to get more power. I feel like Toast is more of the Willy Wonka though, with their surprise candy gifts. Oh, that's so pretty.
I'm an idiot. Oh, why is it so far away? I mean, it's not really. It's on the other side of the desert. I don't have the inventory space. <clears throat> Get suck it into exploring caves right now. We have we have our iron anvil. I have a pulverizer set up. I have a health hammer. I have a windmill, though it's kind of half assed, which is probably part of the problem. Why I'm not getting enough power? Because there's not much power coming out of it. Forex, like just sitting right here. Copper. Ego Caves looking all interesting again. Oh, but this looks really interesting. I think that's hell. That's hell because it's sticking around. It's fine. It, look, I, oh, Jesus. Whose idea was it to make sand? Do sandy things. Stability. There's times when stability is helpful. Generally, when I'm referring to things under my feet. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the ground not giving way underneath me. I haven't had that happen in ages, and now I'm going down this cave. Um, now I'm paranoid. Oh, what's this? Oh. Well, oh. oh, whatever, I guess. Fascinating rock formations out here.
Ugh. Thought I was done with desert. I keep forgetting to push my shoulders back. One thing I noticed after doing the craft stream on Sunday is that my back was really sore the next day and then I realized it's because I was basically hunched over at a, a, not a great angle when I was doing the crochet so I need I think I need to do some work on how I sit for craft streams. This is from like reaching forward to keep my hands in the camera and then also looking down so I'm like aggressively shrimped. Oh, I thought I was always there. I don't think I've seen Alan before. It's a mordant. Ooh. Okay. Just gonna leave it there. Come back for that. Hello, cow. I think I need to switch to my headset. It's better. I like my little pebbles. But if you talk a lot, they tend to loosen up a bit. These have a better quality sound anyway. Look over there on a high on a hill. There's a oh, I guess he's not a lonely goat. <clears throat> so it's probably fine. I think I'm going to get another coffee on my ad break. 
can't remember. Just one out of the sand. Oh, I think we need now. Yep, we are. Oh, I still have a bed with me. Eat. I can see the entry there. I was just looking around to see if there's any berries. Blueberries. You're coming with me. I needed some more blueberry bushes for my garden. All right, follow the stairs. Hopefully, I'll get lost. So I really like the trails mod that we installed because these, this here, this is just made by Ape and Toast running around doing stuff. Oh god. But So have a look. So that's straight down, right? Yes. So it's outside to inside. I thought that's what I'd done. Maybe 
maybe I just don't have enough power. Right, that's it. I literally just went over it to find out that I just don't have enough power. I'm not making enough power. It's fine. Now we can run back. this place <laughs> so yeah I'm pretty sure I had the setup right it's just I don't have enough power produced on the sails so I only got a few so I'm not generating enough Pause. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> okay, you know what? We're gonna go. Around the desert? So once the flax grows, there's no other way of making flax, right?
So I just have to wait for the flax to grow so I can make more sails. Sparkly. I don't want to fall into a hole. Again, close. All right, there we go. Now we can just go east. I'm pretty sure I did the same setup, but I drew a diagram also of how the hoppers are set up on the Pounty Boy because I have a memory like a so. I'm back in the desert. I see that. Whoa, that's a lot of copper. I didn't want to be in the desert, but now I'm back in the desert. Okay, yeah, no, I'm good. I don't need to go in there. Now I'm up really high. In a desert where the ground can collapse under you. It's fine. My goodness, Becky, look at that sub. <laughs> toast dance, rav, vip, toast dance, rav, vip, toast dance, rav, vip, toast dance, rav, vip, happy sheep, rav, vip, happy sheep, rav, vip, happy sheep, rav, vip, happy sheep, rav, vip, happy sheep. Rav, vip, happy sheep to you too. Oh my goodness, Becky. Look at that sub. Rav, thank you. Thank you so much. Please let me know if you have a preference of color for your scarf trunk. I appreciate your support. Purple, you got it. Purple. So far, this month is very purple and very blue. Interesting.
So we need... Oh, that was Lupin's. Oh, chair just moved. Um... We need... Black. No, it's fine. I I'm enjoying the way that colors are kind of pulled together. Like Why is that not collapsing? For fuck's sake! I'm leaving. So no one will ever know what just happened. Okay. Good luck! I hope you've got to figure it out. Uh, yes, but this is streaming in OBS. You may just be overdue for your annual blood sacrifice. <laughs> Adventure! I may have to come and get some more lily pads. I'm pretty sure I have the same thing with the going from the outer to the inner on the gears. I feel like maybe I need to run this route a few times just so I don't have to remember anymore. I'll just like run the route like backwards and forwards like this. It's already starting to appear. I'm not I'm not gonna do that. But I could So I could just cut all the grass. I see light. Either that's my house or someone's on fire. Oh, that might be a traitor actually. Or it was a firebug, I guess. Glowworm. No, that wasn't my house. 
Damn it, I was all excited. I thought I was home again. Home again, home again. Maybe I do just need to get a bunch of iron tools in there. Do a, a big road making journey. Oh god, what am I doing? I'm in a tree! I'm not in a tree anymore. Ooh, look at that. That's so pretty. Oh, the sun's coming out. Perfect. Man, I really want chips. Flynn's got a bag of chips in his office. In, in his room. And this being like, I don't know if he's like deliberately leaving it there because he know like I love chips. I will generally take a bag of chips over candy. And it's just sitting there and he knows that I love them. Oh, good. That's fantastic, Dania. Well done. And now I'm trying to decide if I can sneak into his room while he's streaming. Steal the chips. And then blame it on Daisy. Yeah. Like, these are my chips now. I mean, he gets very focused on what game he's playing, so I could probably get away with it. <laughs> What's that over there? Like, whoa, that's a big spider. And he'll be like, wait, what? We are, huh? Well, honestly, Daisy gets blamed for so much stuff. Like, any treats go missing, like, from the fridge, or if, like, all the ice cream goes, someone eats all the ice cream, or, you know. It's always, it's always Daisy. Or maybe I'll... Oh. I could li I could literally just go in there and then look at him and then just start freaking out and be like, oh my god. Ah, what is that? Oh god. Lightning, that's what it is. Without specifying, but that's pretty mean. I could try and trade him candy for chips. I have some cola bottle candy. They are, but chips are better. I have crackers. I have crackers. I have ginger snaps. I have gra graham crackers.
cabbages are growing. Six of nine. Oh god, that's gonna take so long to finish. Oh, we're gonna have a whole lot of berries soon. And then I'm gonna be like, oh no, I have to process all the berries. me I'll just eat the soda bottle he wants candy you know what's a really good idea in the middle of a thunderstorm. Going up really, really high on an open exposed area. Okay, we have ads starting soon, so I'm gonna stand up and stretch and get a coffee. You should do it too. Get a drink. And I'll see you in a few minutes.
Alright. Copy get. What the fuck? Big to the center of the bottle. Then center of the big word to the half hammer. Alright, so the problem is just power then. No, I didn't get chips. Alright, well, let's just leave this up here. So I can't really do much else up here until I get more flax, basically. But that's okay. We've got started. At least I have a functioning health hammer. It's not fast, but it's there. Tis progress. Well, the good thing is... With all this metal... some lead and I can Distribution, heat source. Are you going to make an oven out of chalk?
seasoned. It's just flavoring. I mean, if you're hungry, you're not going to be that picky. I've literally just been throwing shit in uh <laughs> no, just, just throwing stuff in boxes without really paying any attention to what's going where. Let's try and tidy this up a bit. Beads is fine. I, I want to take those with me. Okay. I should go in the air. there here there I can go there. All right, I feel like that makes a bit more sense, but as to like where where everything is now, I have no idea. And some fresh bread would go down really well about now. Hundred and twenty. Oh, it's black coal. Black coal that I need.
Got 12 blooms. Where's my hammer? Here's oh. Oh, you know what? I should use the last oomph of my hammer on making another hammer. It seems like a good idea. Oops. Really need to organize my storage in here too. Bit of a mess. Um, what am I making? Hammer. I can just pour hammer. Why am I hammering a hammer when I can just pour one? Is no work. Well, at least I've got that. What is that box even for? There's this empty chest here. Oh, I should make some proper screws. What's the temperature on that? That's 1100. You need... Hello? I'm now kind of hope wishing that I'd put 
like an oak tree or a redwood here. Pineapple! <gasps> it's mature? Oh my gosh. Pretty exciting. I have a pineapple! Oh, whoops. I'm hungry and apparently you cannot eat rot. For some reason. Okay, almost hot enough to pour. So then I want to, I'm curious. I'm curious if you can put the heat sources like recessed into a wall. So that they're kind of obscured. Now we have a hammer. Alright, so we've got sink here. Let's into a bismuth ingot. Alloy for bismuth bronze. Bismuth Bronze is still only tier 3. Eight. 2x, 5.5x. Oh, it's faster on stone. 6x, 6, 2.3. Okay, so... Oh, what I have is better. Wait. Is that? Oh, what? An actual functioning brazier?
It's a shame you can't break down plates and ding it somehow. Large repair kit. Eh, don't need that. If I get more reeds, I can make more rope. Then I can make more lanterns. I can't decide what material I actually want to do the kitchen in. I feel like granite makes sense since it's there. And maybe I should see what the polished granite looks like. So, polished granite is that, that, that. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to put it in the kitchen and see. That's fair. I think the problem with using polished blocks is that there's like a delineation there between them. Yeah, you will. For sure. Rough granite. Oh, hey, let's do this. Oh. Oh. What? That's fun. Obtained by... Oh, okay. Here. Yeah, you're just using, you're making your own rule set. Interesting.
not really what I wanted, but at least it's out of my inventory. Okay. Yeah, you can. It's quite neat, actually. The markers are helpful because you can sort of, you can pin it and then like you can see on the, on my mini map up there, like you can see the marker on the edge of the map. But yeah, you don't necessarily need them at all. All right, now we're going to make some nails. Oh, shit. Ouch. This will let me make some more storage chairs. I always forget about the heavy hits and then I do them at the wrong time and fuck things up. Maybe that's why I, I don't do them. Such a satisfying sound. So it doesn't matter what color would you use for chests, right? They all end up the same.
Ah. All right, how long till the flag sits down? Ages. Uh. Do we go hunting for flags? Should I go foraging? My shelves are driving me nuts here. Yeah, it it sometimes gets a bit wonky, I think. Alright, so that goes there, here, right here. So pick, shot X, show. I'd be very hard pressed to like use an entire tins tool while I'm just out messing about, but who knows? Fuck, this has still got oil in it. Put you in the air. 
so it's a bit lovely. I'm sorry, so just great granite, right? Oh, it does use polished. I still don't know how I want to lay this room out, but I feel like maybe... I think maybe we need to put through the pantry right there. So I've got more wall space. Maybe push that back. Okay, we're going to go looking for... I'm going to go foraging. <laughs> yes. He is the happiest little dirt plumber ever. Oh, we've got some more resin. Go clear this off first. September and it's still summer. Yeah, look, I haven't been south, so we're going to look for flags, but I don't think we're going to have much luck, really. But maybe, who knows? There's something over there. At least it's contrasty.
I forgot that I've got borax right here. Picking up some rocks in case I need to throw them at things. Standing on a nerd pole and throwing rocks is like my favorite thing. I don't know if there's like uh, a good place to try and find linen uh, flax One advantage of out going out foraging in fall is that the colors are a bit more apparent for crops. I do kind of wish that. Uh, the flowers had more use than just to seduce bees. Or decoration, like we need if you could use them different flowers to do different healing potions or something. Jesus, that's a lot of pee. I think that's got to be spelled, maybe? No, I don't want that. Okay, what we're going to do is... gonna mark the flags that I see that I don't harvest. That way, I can come back to it and uh, see if it's finished. It'd probably be even easier in winter. Things are a lot more brown.
I just want more power. Oh, wait, wait. Here. Apparently I found high fertility soil without realizing it. Some up there. I should be collecting vines too. I know I saw some over here somewhere. Thought. Okay, so from a distance on the rain, the flex kind of looks grayish. Oh, spelt. Hey, thanks what to you... Patchwork Turtle for my sub gift. Yay! Alright, what color would you like for your scarf chunk? Nico won't mind. Chunk. Actually, chances are you and Echo will end up picking the same color anyway. If I know, if I know the two of you. Light blue or dark blue? There's two blues on fried flag. Okay, you got it. I got very confused then as to how I had a, an emote in game of a, a waving face. Because it's like on a transparent overlay over my game. It's like, oh god, there's bees in my stream as well? And Rosie? Bees. I mean, the are bees in this. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. You get home from work okay, I'm assuming? Thank you, Poet. Oh gosh! It's the other one's- oh good! So you got a bit of a break. I saw some, um... 
some footage of uh, roads in Fort Lauderdale. It was like, these roads need to be fixed. I'm like, dude, you're in a coastal city. It's not the roads that are the problem. Especially now we're not allowed to have policies about climate change in Florida. You had tuna and you got a new marshmallow minion ice cream. Yum. I had <clears throat> leftover pizza for lunch. And I have no idea what we're having for, for dinner. Well, that sounds like a nice day put. And is more. <gasps> yes, please. I love super secret, not secret art updates for your stream. Um, I don't know exactly what the problem is, but be aware, right and right clicking and left clicking do two different things. <gasps> yes, love it. Love it, Poet. Those are really cute sketches. No, it's it's okay, Nania. Okay. Streamers can multitask a little. I like it. It's cute and it's simple. Oh. I don't know that I'm having very good luck with this. It's true. Both themselves will quite often change conversation mid-conversation. Yeah. We can talk about three or four things at once and it's fine. Ad studying in about 30 seconds. So this would be a grand time to stand up and stretch and take a break, get a drink and have a wee. Hood. Um, have a wee break and I will see you in a few minutes. Hood.
I like lemon curd filled ones. But I think my favorite is probably just a cinnamon sugar donut. Like a, a fried one, not um not a cakey one. Well, you fixed it? Well good. What'd you do to fix it? I I love lemon flavoured things. Like absolutely love lemon flavoured things. I like the tartness. Oh no. <laughs> But that would be a surprise. But yeah, if they're filled, it's like lemon or like a proper custard. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. I I didn't even think about that. Siri! Greater than underscore greater than yourself. Hi, Siri. Thank you. For like so many years of support, like literally years. Years and years and years. Yeah, it's very important, Siri. Very, very, very important. Hmm. Yeah. For well, very important delicious science. Ooh, that's a strong answer. What's gonna work themselves into a froth over pastries now? Why am I not finding a flax? That, that is a god thing to win, Siri. Good job. That looks like a fruit tree over there. Because it is a fruit tree over there. Oh, and there's some flag. That's that's a lot. I'm weird when we get donuts flint flint picks on me because our local Krispy Kreme does good donuts. I know some people don't like Krispy Kreme. They prefer Dunkin'. And that's fine. Our local franchises are very different. Our local Dunkin' Donuts is absolute dog shit. Um, but the Krispy Kreme is has really nice fresh ones. But when we go and get uh when, if we go and get donuts from from Crispy, it'll be like, oh no, the sign's on for the hot and ready because I don't don't like them fresh. I feel like the fresh when they're glazed ones are fresh, they're like waxy. 
And so he gets looked at weird because he'll be like, and can we have some old ones for my wife? I'll be like, look. It's just how I like them. Oh, I don't I don't have any dirt blocks, so we Yeah, 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 yeah. So we we used we we've been to our Duncan a few times and every time it's half the time they're out of donuts. Like they're out of everything except for like I don't know, random gnarly ones that no one likes. I don't know what that is. But half the time they're like you'll be like, do you have such and such? But like, no, we're out of stock. What about this one? No, we're out of stock. And then when we do get them, they're usually stale. And I think it's because I'm like not ordering in. Yeah. And I've had people say the other, you know, the opposite as well. Like their Krispy Kreme is absolutely terrible, but their Dunkin's great. So I think it depends on, you know, whichever one's making them, I think, on site. That's when they, uh, they taste good. Hood is so picky. Super picky Pud Pud. Secret agent name is the pickiest Pud Pud. Well, I'm not going to find oh, it's nighttime bullshit. Why is it dark at nighttime? Ugh. Whose idea was it to make it dark at nighttime? Seriously. Yeah. And if it's a gator filled chocolate, then put just explodes. What? Why is. Yeah. Well, no, water isn't wet. Water makes things wet. Things being wet is a condition of addition of water. Yeah, water makes things wet. Water isn't wet. Yeah, it's like dark at night. Yes. You're welcome, Narnia. I remember someone complaining to me about their soup being too wet, and what they meant was it was too diluted, like it was weak. But they were like, my soup's too wet, and I was like, um... Do we need to have a talk? <laughs> yeah, it was like a watery soup. I 
I'm waiting for it to get late enough that I can maybe roll down and wake up to daylight. I just realized it's 10 o'clock. I don't know if, uh, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> right? Oh, it looks like Flint's about to start playing Killer Clowns. But... Hot veggie smoothie. I think I've had a similar thing, though. Well, I don't... I don't know if Hoda's gonna be around for, um, trucks tomorrow. I don't know if Coda is lurking. Oh, right. Yeah, Father's Day. Forget about that. Oh, that's so cool. Let's, um, Okay, that's, that's better. That's still kind of hard to see. Maybe some Pokemon? It looks like it could be something. Spelt. Okay, Siri. Thank you for lurk. And thank you for sub for like 60 millionth year. I appreciate it. You wouldn't think we've been streaming for 60 million years, but it's pretty close. Spelt schmelt. Oh, hey, a traitor. 60 million and three, yeah, if, we go, if we're gonna be getting picky, yeah, 60 million and three. He's so 2D! War blasting bomb. Interesting. Eh. Yeah, sure, buddy. I do want to do some more drawing. I'm the one thing I'm struggling with with art at the moment is getting clean lines when I've done a, a sketch. So like in whatever software I'm using, I'll do the drawing and I, I'm happy with how it comes out and I'm happy with the shading, but I just can't get clean lines and it drives me fucking nuts. And I know it's just going to be something that takes practice.
This is me not going into caves. I am not going into caves. So I have like a very specific style that I want to do. And it's just trying to make my hands and my brain coordinate. I know I can do it. It's just a process getting there. I end up getting really, I don't know, like tempted into using, like drawing freehand and coloring. And then the temptation to like go over it in like a, a software that lets me do like Bezier curves so I can get like nice clean lines. I guess it doesn't really matter how, really matter how it's done. Oh, I'm stuck up in the middle of fucking nowhere now. Oh. Well. Thank you, Plan. That's very kind of you to say. It is. It's it's in the rules. I agree. No, I feel like this was not a very fruitful excursion by any means. Probably would have been better just planting more flax somewhere. And then going off and doing other things. Oh yeah, how was that? One of the, man, one of the things that I, I would have loved to see in this game is having the water act like it does in Minecraft, where you can like swim up waterfalls, and where water sort of fills things in like it does. Are there more mushrooms? Bye. 
but it's nice that there's a unique way of it, you know, of things working here. What's this? Oh, it's just carrots. Oh, this is cool. Brown coal. Oh, geez. I don't have any dirt blocks on me. Hmm. I know. <sighs> that works. We're getting there slowly but surely and it does mean i get to run around and explore and i should have picked up that mushroom before um in the fall Okay, now I have to look for more mushrooms. Holy crap, that's a lot of cows. What the heck? So what's going on there? There are not supposed to be that many of them. Right? I don't want rye. Those are cows. These are from a mod, though. But yeah, not base game. And the mod just makes them... Like... <laughs> far too many of them. So I, I've used another mod to, like, make them chill the fuck out. But there shouldn't be that many right there. I'm not really sure where I'm going except for oh no I guess I need to go east now huh it's 
That's a whole lot of rain. Rainfall in this area almost all the time. Well then. Well, that's a pretty view, except for the fact that it's very rainy here. Oh yeah, we're actually pretty close to the house now. Pretty close to my base. Spelt again. Bleh. I need uh, the server to be rest when I'm offline. Just a little bit. Not too much. Just so. Oh, it's so pretty. Just so that my flag grows. Well, I think that'll do. I wonder if I can put chickens in with the cat. Oh my gosh, look at all those fish! Now I'm like, what if I dig, dig a trench from there into my lake? Like, will that make that work? Would that work? A fish canal? Because there's like no fish here. It's a very big lake though. That is true. Alright, well I guess I know what we're doing now. How are we doing? Six of nine. It's getting there slowly. Let me see what I can do with the rest of this. Uh... It's here.
have, I have another one. Really? Good night, Pud Pud. Have a good sleep. And sweet dreams. Oh. No. Oh, no, I don't have enough. I thought I did, but I don't. I mean, fair. What if? Bong. All right. Don't know why I came home with those. All right. First we had Diggy diggy hole vertical. Now we're doing diggy diggy hole horizontal. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> Is this the... Yes, this is the one. My god, there's so many of them. Alright, so we can just go from, like, here. It's gonna take... some bucket work to... Now I need another bucket, which I have. Yeah. 
here. Look at this number. Look at this number. Fucking Becky. Thank you uh, for 50 months at tier 2 as well. You're crazy lady. I'm really glad that light pad is working for you. I actually have one of those somewhere, but I, I never thought of using it for embroidery. Oh, yeah. I mean, you knew that was going to happen. We all knew that was going to happen. Some of the fish. Look, I'm not. Clearly, uh, a very good fish engineer.
eat fishies. Go this way. I'm a fish hooter now. Go on. Go on. Go on now. Get. Go on now. Go on. Oh my god, it's working! Go on. Go. Dude. Go. There. Go. Go. No, not that way. This way. Dude, your other frame was fine. Why are you trying to swim into a wall? Hey! Hey! Go! 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 Go on! Go, Vigi, go! Oh, no, you don't. Go, go. Come on, guys. Keep going. Come on. This one fucking fish. The other one's in here. Somewhere? Be free! Yes! Hey, fishy! Oh, deprived of light might die soon. Data? Mod config. Configure everything. Server. Spawn conditions. Salmon. Minimum light level zero. I don't know what light level type means, but I'm going to set that to zero too. Okay, updated some server settings. Oh, uh, why couldn't this piece of music been playing before? That would have been majestic. Very epic fish. I'm just gonna, um, what is that? Calamity mod issue. 
Oh, that's Terraria. Why am I getting a warning about Terraria mods? I'm restarting the server so that the fishies won't die. There's got to be some perk to having Edwin on the server, surely. I have yet to play Terraria. It's on my list and I've had it for fucking years. But I don't even know if I've, I've started it. Starbound is another one that I really want to play at some point. But there's like a a chunk of my brain that can only handle like one of these kind of games at a time. So it's like Vintage Story or, you know, any, I can only do like one open world kind of game. That's, a, it is an oldie, yeah. And I played a tiny bit of Starbound. But not enough to really get an experience, I don't think. All right. Searching for fish. I've set the minimum light requirement to zero. I feel like I'm going to find the, the corpses at the bottom of the pond. It might be easy to try and look for fish during the day. Maybe. I don't see anything though. I was so, so exciting. We had fishies. No, we don't have fishies. It was. I was I was very excited by the whole process. I I think that may have been apparent. But maybe maybe we'll get more fishies here. Ow. Oh, I'm hungry. No. I guess I need to eat something.
Hmm. I'll take some spoiled stew. Um. Hey. Yeah, I, I literally just made them to see what they look like, but I don't like them. <laughs> it was like, eh, I don't think I like them. I want the pretty blue ones. Yeah, but I still haven't made any. So there's a thing in the JSON for this in will gen of tries per chunk. How many times the game tries to generate a deposit? Tries. Uh, more tries per chunk means more means that ore is more likely to be generated. Transfer chunk and then off it. Yeah. Each ore has its own tries per chunk when spawning. I.e., how many times the world generation will roll a dice to see if it'll spore an ore deposit? It has a high tries per chunk. Okay. So what's. Oh. Okay. So copper has 25 tries per chunk, so even a minuscule reading means there's more certain to be some copper. But that's tries per chunk on... That's in world gen. So I feel like that's too late at this point. What does light level type mean then? Light.
Uh... Oh, okay. Light level time. Doing some research on salmon. Vintage story salmon. However, it's his string. Maybe I should have left that as two. I think I may have found what I need. Try it only surface. If false, the game will also try to spawn the entity below a surface. So we want this to be false so that they will spawn in caves. My god, I can make the salmon hostile. Kind of love the idea of going for a swim and then just being like swarmed by angry salmon. I sort of don't know why I, I don't know if there's a way to just like manually spawn them with a code. Couldn't find anything. How long it takes. Point, oh, okay. So chance point one is 40 seconds. This is interesting. I probably shouldn't be doing this while I'm streaming because, you know, you can't see what I'm doing. What I should do is just copy the conditions for the crabs. Because there's lots of crabs. Salmon is 0.075 average tries per chunk. Where's tries per chunk? Average. Nah, I think that's fine. 
Um, but I know that salmon can spawn in this pond. So, I guess now I try and find another pond with fish. And end up with this mighty canal network. Let's try and get fish into my caves. Hello? Do you have any fish? Nope. Are you fishy? Nope. I'm so sad there were all those fish. And I killed like four? Well, I guess I killed all of them. <sighs> There's one. There's a fish. Oh no. Alright. Oh, oh, why am I. Seriously. This, <laughs> this is such a long way to try and dig a canal. Oh. I guess we're going to go along this line. I'm... I mean, I might have done the right settings to To make fish spawn in the air. I've got to, I've got to make this like high enough or tall enough that I can walk through it. This is like the Panama, Panama Canal of the fish. It has been a rabbit hole. Oh, thank God. Woo.
All right, how far? All right, that's not so bad. <sighs> Must have. You picking on the chickens again? Oh, great. There's a tree in the way. That's all right. We can work with that. Because I, I know there's a chance for fish to actually spawn in canals too. Like in player, Doug. It'd be interesting if this affected the grass and stuff. I'm gonna be so mad if I see a fish like swim along this way. <laughs> I'm like, no, why? He bit. He bit you. Grum grumbled and walked away. I kind of love that. Yeah, I I prefer kind of learning how the game works before I fuck around with mods. So I can appreciate that. Hey, look, the sand color is changing. Kick. I would like to like not get stuck in a tunnel and a fish migration tunnel
All right. Excuse me, fishies. Can you go to your yeah? Hello. Go on. No, nope, that way. Go on. Oh, you're not good with corners, are you? Go on. Go. Yes. Go on. Oh, buddy. First journey, episode two. Oh, they're both trying to look. Go, go. What is it with you on that? Look, guys. No, look. Oh, shit. Go, go. Uh, all right come on let's go let's go you're doing so well I'm so proud of you Oh my god. Well, at least he's not in the shade. Whee! Oh shit. I've got to, I've got to make sure I block it off here. All right. <laughs> One of them just went backwards. All right. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you trying to do that. Buddy. Come on. You're on the home stretch. You can do it. Fishies! 
please. Deprived of light. Maybe, but they're, they should be okay in zero light. I don't think they're going to be swimming back up that way, really. There's a uh, um, I mean, there's a lot of light in here. Um, there's an ornamental fish mod, which looks kind of interesting. Yeah, there's like uh, a few different types. It's like koi and oh, it's a few others. Like, I wonder if I should make these like little meandering. We're gonna get rid of these. I didn't do that. That was lightning. Yeah, I just, I want to, I was just curious to see if I could get the game to make them spawn naturally. Well, I mean I'm editing config files, but
Yeah, I may have to... Like, copy the grab settings. I don't know what type of grab that is, actually. Okay, there's a land crab and a water crab, so... If the land, if, if the, the, the crabs are okay in the cave, then whatever works for the crabs will work for the salmon. Oh. He's a fish! Oh, right. I'm in the ocean now. Well, it won't really, but... I'm not hurting fish from the ocean. I have limits. Oh boy. <laughs> I ran really north. Chant. There's a lot of lake bunnies. And there's quite a lot of fish here. It's a shame you can't scoop them up with a net. Or like, knock them out or something. Well, now I'm finding flax, now that I'm not looking for it. Because that's, that's how it goes. I, I got distracted hurting fish. I could have swore I turned off the uh, the ground being squished by cows, but I guess I didn't. All right, so I've 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 walked away. Uh, 
I'm curious if that's still here. I'm curious if they will like naturally move towards the lights. This is like in this in this cave there's I would say at least five chunks that are considered underground. But you can kind of see like a little light flare every so often and that's the corner of a chunk. Well, I don't pack a small, not necessarily. Oh, I don't know. Oh, God. I'm going to figure it out somehow. I have no idea if that pretty sure that skeleton was just a, a raven or something. Yeah, it looks like they've all... Looks like they've vanished already, just from me walking away. Or they're just like, Jesus, Dal, give me some privacy. Just trying to be a fish? You're not, you're not letting me be a fish? Actually, I don't know if the crabs take damage when they're in here too. I'll have to look next time. <laughs> well, it was a good way to accumulate dirt. granite
So we are we're not really close. <laughs> I thought I was I thought I was close. I'm not close. Having enough legs. Oh we got red currant, cranberry. Still expecting to hear that. I'm going to return. My car. Oh. I'm, I'm not... I'm not convinced that the great fish... Migration is uh, going to work. I really think I'm going to have to mess with some more settings. Oh, wait, no, those just go straight in. Yeah. I don't think it's worked. But that's okay. You got the dishes done? Awesome. Yeah, frequently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I do the same thing. Oh, 
All right, I think given that it's nearly midnight, it's probably a good time for me to stop. Um, I will be on tomorrow from uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, maybe, possibly. Sometime around there. I'm sending you all over to Soma. They are really lovely. They're playing Aska, which is a game I will be looking at maybe next week, once it gets into early access. Um, thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Here's the raid messages if you would like to copy and paste them. And uh, I'm gonna try and figure out this fish thing. Here, this is my. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I, I said I don't know if we're gonna be doing trucks or something else. No idea. I don't know what Coda's plan is. Um. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. And good job doing the things you did today, even if it was just brushing your teeth or having a shower. It's well done. Bye.